Hey guys, it's Stephanie from the blog thefarmhousemom.com and today we are going to be making soap out of pig lard. So if you've seen my beef tallow rendering video, you may have remembered that I had some um, pig lard that we rendered down and some of it was really white and really nice for, you know, biscuits and pie crust and then some of it turned yellow because I overcooked it. So I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with it. Um, so I thought about making soap. So I made a batch last night. This was out of a batch that really had like a really piggy smell and I wasn't sure that what it was gonna be like. But it is incredible that, that when you're mixing it with the lye, there was absolutely no trace. The saponification just completely eliminated all of the all of the fragrance, any of that smell that I didn't like. And I was really pleased that we were able to um, use that pig lard that, you know, I thought maybe was ruined. So anyway, I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the tools that I used and we're gonna make another batch today. So um, this is what I have. I'm gonna just scoot you back here. I ordered this 42 ounce um, mold on Amazon. I think it was around $10. And then I also ordered this lye. Two pounds of lye was $13. I have these two items for mixing up my water and my lye together. And then um, I think I'm gonna try a little coloring today. So I've got some turmeric that I've probably had in my cupboard since like 1999. So it's probably um, has not ret retained any properties or freshness to use as a spice. So I'm gonna use some um, turmeric, I guess I always say turmeric, I don't know why. But I'm gonna use some turmeric um, to color it. So depending on the color that it turns out, I'm either gonna use some orange essential oils or some lemon essential oils to kind of um, um, make it have a nice scent. And then um, I just had my stick blender and I use that to um, emulsify everything. And this is what I used to um, stir up my lye. Everything I saw said that silicone was a good, um, was a good choice. So that's what I used. So the calculator that I used was the dash sage.com and they have a really cool lie calculator. I made a half batch yesterday. Those are just some small sample bars and I'm going to go ahead and resize my recipe. Going to use ounces for my measurement. So I'm going to melt this first um, to weigh it because I already put it in the pot without thinking. Okay, so I'm going to enter in 16.1 ounces of lard and I want, I want five to 8% of castor oil in the soap. And then I'm just gonna get my castor oil. And because the pig lard is so hot, I'm just gonna put 0.8 ounces in. Got 16.12 ounces, and I am gonna pour this castor oil in. And the castor oil is gonna make it foamy. And I want the castor oil to be 16.82. Okay, close enough. Okay, so we have our castor oil, and I'm gonna go ahead and calculate the lye, and it is telling me that I need four to six ounces of, um, fluid ounces of liquid, and I will need 2.2 ounces of lye. So I'm gonna put my liquid to the side, reset this, and then I'm gonna put 2.2 ounces of lye in my little plastic cup. Guys, when I first did this yesterday, I did it outside. I was so afraid um, of the lye. I was so afraid of it. <laughs> so we've got six ounces of water, and we've got 2.2 ounces of lye. So you never pour your water in your lye. You put your lye in your water. So here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna take my silicone spoon and stir it up. Okay, I do not have a fancy temperature gauge at all. I have my husband's um, Good Cook barbecue. When I put the lye water in the fat, 
I want them both to be about 120 degrees, 100 to 120, and then I want them to be in between 10 degrees of each other. All right, so that's up to 160, but I found that the lye cools a lot quicker than the oils do, so if I need to heat the oils up, I can. And the oil is about 150. Okay, so both the temperature of the oil and the lye water solution are both um, about 110 degrees. So I'm gonna plug in my stick blender. All right, I'm trying to have my um, essential oils and my turmeric, turmeric on hand. So this happened like really quickly. I was really surprised at how quickly that it emulsifies. I was getting nervous here. Okay, let's go ahead and add our time. Okay, that's a really bright orange color, so I think I might use my orange with my lavender. So it definitely seems a little soupier than the one I made last night, but we're still gonna go ahead and pour in our mold. Oh, okay, so I just poured some in the mold and it was like a big chunk, so I think it's gonna be okay. I think it's gonna set up. So I definitely, when I start making soaps for fall, this turmeric is awesome. It's a beautiful orange pumpkin color.